So my last video was about doing less is more. Um, and this one is going to be the complete opposite of that. I guess you could call it uh, more is more. Sounds a little stupid, but I don't know what else to call it. I'm going to go very abstract on this one. And I'm going to use um, a lot of color and a whole lot of brass, of course. And um, I'm just going to go a little crazy with this one. I'm just going to tell you the colors that I'm using. Two of them are Ranger. It is uh, Moss and Sunset Orange. And the other two is uh, Pinata Sangria and, of course, Brass. Um, as you can already see, I'm, I'm going to fast forward a lot in this video. I've cut out, um, some bits and pieces because I spent, uh, I think about an hour doing this one. Um, and I feel like no one's going to watch that like an hour. You'd all fall asleep. Um, so, uh, this is going to be just a shorter video. Um, in this one, I am only using that little air blower thingy that you see. Um, I haven't used this in a really long time because, um, the one that I used to have, I actually lost it. Um, I don't know where it went. I fear I might have accidentally thrown it out. So after I lost it, I just, yeah, I just used my, uh, my heat gun and my hair dryer for most things but recently i i sort of missed this so i i bought a new one um and i'm having so much fun with this it is so different from using the hair dryer or the heat gun and the stuff i use that i that i tend to do with the air blower thingy is 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 sort of a little random um, if, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I, my favorite things is either using the hair dryer or the heat gun to move the, the ink and isopropyl around, or I pick up the paper and sort of tilt it around and then just dry it with the hair dryer. On this piece, I'm only going to be using the, uh, the air blower thing. I'm not going to use anything to to dry it with. I'm just going to let it dry on its own. And sometimes it is really fun to do this. I'm just going to move the, the ink and the brass a little bit around with the isopropyl and then just let it dry on its own. And sometimes it actually moves quite a lot after you've sort of done what you wanted to do when you move on to the next part. It, it moves a lot, but I like it because sometimes some really cool stuff happens. And when it sort of moves a little by itself while drying, you often get some really cool contrast, um, like I talked about in the last video. It makes a piece more interesting and you can get so much contrast by, by letting it dry on its own and maybe moving a little bit because the ink will sort of gather a little in, in the center of your little puddle. Um, and then the, the brass too will just be sort of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what word I'm looking for. I'm just going to stick with contrast. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, English is not my first language. Um, but I like when I use this to just go a little crazy with the air blower. And it becomes very, very abstract. Um, I, you could use some a hair dryer or, or a heat gun to sort of dry it if you feel like it it takes too long to dry or you don't want it to move too much. But on this piece, I decided not to use anything. Um, 
once I've sort of blown it around with the air blower the way I want it, I'm just going to leave it and let it dry on its own. Um, on this one, I'm also some of the colors mixing in a little bit. Um, so, so a little different from what I usually do. I tend to stay a little more um, minimalistic, I guess, a little more quiet, but I do like going crazy once in a while. It is, it's fun to sort of step out of your comfort zone. And I don't do pieces like this a lot, but when I do, I, I really love it. And I think it's, it's so much fun to just I'll go crazy and not really have a plan. I just pick my colors and then I just start it and put some ink on and some ISO and just see what happens. Um, I like to switch it up a bit with these different techniques, which is why I'm really glad I got the air blower thingy again. Um, I think my favorite, one of my favorites is, is when I do fades and, and pick up the paper and tilt it around. But, but this is, this is so much fun. It is so much more random and well, you don't always know what's, what's going to happen, but sometimes really, really cool stuff happens when you use the air blower. Um, do you guys have a favorite technique to use when it comes to air and moving the ink around? Are you hair dryer or, or air blower or airbrush? I know a lot of people use airbrush. I don't really use an airbrush. It's never really been my thing. I don't know why. I do think some of the stuff that you make with an airbrush, you can almost sort of do with a hairdryer, but what is your favorite thing to use? Just leave a comment, let me know. And um, if you want me to do a video that is a bit more specific and um, with the, with the um, air blower thing, let me know and I will do a new piece with this where I sort of maybe zoom in a little bit so you can see a lot better what happens if you're not used to using the air blower. It's fun at first. I, I remember the first time I used it, I just, I just blew the ink all over the place. Um, I think it, it I, I practiced a little and I got a little better at controlling it, but I feel with the air blower, it's not really about controlling it. It's the fun that happens when you don't have all that much control. Um, if you saw my last video, um, you know, I was talking about um, how you sometimes have to just stop and walk away from your piece. Um, if you're sort of overdoing it or if you just don't like it and you feel like you want to throw it in the trash. Um, I suggested in the last video that you just leave it and walk away and don't look at it for a while. Um, and I actually did that twice when I was doing this piece. Um, sort of halfway through, I didn't really like it. I thought it was ugly and I was about to quit. So I walked away for about an hour and I came back and thought, yeah, this is actually not that bad. So I, I kept on working. Um, so it's still really good advice if you're overdoing it or if you're not happy with it, walk away, take a break. I did that twice with this piece and I came back and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I'm really, really happy that I didn't throw this one out because I'm actually really, really pleased with this. It is so abstract and sort of random, but oh, I'm, I'm really happy. There's so much life in this piece. Um, so if you, if you would like me to do more stuff with the air blower and, and sort of zoom in a little bit and explain it a bit more, you just let me know. I would also really like to hear what you think about this piece. Is it, is it too much or is it fun and interesting? I think it's fun. And look at that brass. Loving it. 
So this was just a quick little video. Um, all I had time for today, but I um, I got some new stuff coming up really soon. So see you a bit.